this is the here we we say maybe stewed we use it for um, stock but of course to make Nigerian pepper soup you need the real hard chicken not the soft chicken um, and in Nigeria chickens usually you know chickens you get them tough like that and they're so flavorful um, they pack a lot of flavor so I got hard chicken it's not and it's cheaper than the regular chicken but more flavorful the meats it, it takes longer to cook but it's worth it so I'm going to use the hard chicken I'm making two different pepper soups I'm making regular chicken pepper soup and I'm making Nigerian recipe Nigerian chicken pepper soup so it has I'm using the hard chicken for that pepper soup and here's the chicken you can see it's skinny it's a skinny chicken um, it's going to be very flavorful so I'm going to break it down as you noticed in the earlier um, portion of the video from the other chicken I'm going to start with the leg area the thighs I'll start with the thighs you break down the thighs you break down the wings and then you keep going from there so let's let's go ahead and see
right guys so we are ready to make the pepper soup Hola guys, welcome back and um, we are done cleaning, preparing the chicken. So now here are the ingredients for our Nigerian pepper soup um, dish. So here are, here's the recipe. We have our hard chicken, um, or otherwise native chicken, it's just the um, chicken typically used for stock because um, it's hard, it takes longer to cook than your regular chicken and it's more flavorful, like literally you get the taste of chicken. So it has all the bits and pieces, earlier I showed you how to break it down, break down a whole chicken, so this is a, a whole chicken except for the butt, I cut off the butt and I'm not including the butt area. So this is a whole chicken, cut up, ready to go. And here are the spices. I mean, it's just pretty simple, straightforward. Um, there's no standard way as long as you have the basic ingredients. Um, you can always, people, you know, add other spices depending on what's um, unique to their um, taste buds as well as um, traditional, you know, um, recipe. So here we have the chicken. Then we have spices here. We have, okay, let's start. And I, I promise not to butcher the names, but here is Oda. Oda spice. I mean, these, are, these things are very medicinal, very medicinal and flavorful. So some people opt, you know, to choose not to use the Oda spice and they substitute that with um, a different one. Let me show you that real quick. I have it dried it substituted with this but I'm not using this today I typically use that for um, soup for the cold weather um, that's a different uh, native soup so I am preparing pepper soup today so I am using Oda U-D-A Oda and then Uziza seeds it's almost like it's almost like peppercorn, but it's it has a more fragrant and it has a stronger aroma, but highly medicinal as well. Um, this one is very dried and toasted. I toasted it before storing it. Let me show you. I have it stored in jars, but I toasted it first on a frying pan. So that's the that's the um, spice right there. It's toasted, so when it has that, I guess the the, the flavor and smell aroma is, is elevated when you toast it on a frying pan. So, ooh, I can already smell it. The moment you know you just rub it on your fingers, you can already smell it. So, so we have the oda, we have the oziza seeds, um, nice and toasty. Then we have the ehuru. Ehuru seeds. This is the one that is not peeled yet. I just wanted to include that so that I can show you. And here is the peeled and toasted Ehuru seeds. They're the same thing, just this is not processed yet. It's not peeled um, and toasted. This is peeled and toasted. So we have the Ehuru seeds. We have Scotch bonnet pepper. Otherwise known as habanero peppers, um, of course, adjust according to your needs. But I like my pepper soup very, very spicy, so I have two habanero peppers. And of course, I can't cook without cook pepper soup without ginger. I love ginger, so I'm going to use about half of this. So we have the again, we have the uziza seeds, we have the oda, we have the ehuru seeds, peeled, peeled and unpeeled. We're not using the unpeeled just to show you. Um, we have the uh, scotch bonnet peppers too. We have the ginger. I'm going to use half of this. Um, we have our bullion cubes, shrimp flavor. 
So I have two of those. I'm using two because I need the chicken to be flavorful and I'll show you um, why I say that. And then of course we have, I don't know, I don't, I don't have access to scent leaves. It's a very fragrant leaf. So I'm going to use, I have some leftover, um, I think parsley. I have some leftover parsley that I stored from the garden. It's been in the refrigerator. Um, I just used paper towel to store it and it's, it, I mean, it stores well with paper towel. So I'm going to use some just for the added garnish at the end. So, um, so here are the spices. And of course, lastly, we have salt. So just a little bit of salt. And that's about it, guys. That's all. That's all we need to make this entire pepper soup, Nigerian pepper soup. We have your spices, we have the salt, we have the um, end garnish, um, which is the parsley. I'm going to use it to just sprinkle towards the end when it's almost ready. And then we have our chicken. And then, um, this is what I did off camera. I gathered all the spices, of course, except the bullion cubes. I gathered everything else, blended it with a little water, and this is what you get. This is what you get. It will be strained right into the pot. It's so The smell is out of this world, guys. Out of this world. You can see the bits of seeds blended, so it's going to be strained directly into the pot. So that's that's it. So we're now we're going to we have a pot going with little water. Of course, the pepper soup, the water should be somewhere here towards the top. Um, because pepper soup, you're actually as you eat the the chicken, you want some of the soup, um, the spicy soup as well. So we need actually need more water than this. But I have little water first to start with so that as I cook the chicken, the chicken can absorb enough flavor before it cooks. So when it's almost done, then it add more water. Okay, so now I'm going to add the chicken. Actually, this is more water than needed, so I'm going to strain a little bit out. Just want a little water. Okay, hope you can see, guys. Okay, so that's what we want. We want just a little water to start off with, with the chicken. And of course, we don't need extra oil because chicken has oil in it. Then um, we'll add our salt. It's about one teaspoon, or one and a half teaspoon of salt. Okay guys, and then we're going to add our, hope you can see, our bullion cubes. I'm getting it open here. So here's our bullion cube. Just break that in bits. And then I'm going to open the second one. Okay, so we have the salt, we have the bullion cube, now we need to add our blended spices and cover and let that go on for about 15-20 hmm, minutes. Um, we'll come back, check the chicken, if it's almost there then we add more water. And of course flavor accordingly, depending on how much water we add. But 
this is this is about it we just need little water so the chicken can gain can absorb a lot of flavor to begin with okay guys so now it's time to strain I don't know if you can see so now it's trying it's time to strain our to strain our seasonings I mean spices so it's blended with water so we're going to just stir and then strain I'm using just a strainer a fine strainer and of course you can pour it directly I just want to minimize the you know seeing the black seeds and you know bits and pieces of black seeds I mean if, if that's if there's nothing wrong with that but it's just a preference here that's why I'm straining it and making sure I get out every single bit of it you can also add crayfish crayfish to the to the recipe um, I'm not adding crayfish this time around that is why I use the shrimp flavored bullion cube or um, seasoning cube the shrimp flavored one so let's get a little bit of water and strain some more We're going to allow the chicken cook. Mm, it smells good, guys. Let's allow it cook. Let me show you what it looks like. Can you see it, guys? Okay, so let's allow it cook for another um, 20, 15 to 20 minutes. Because remember, this is hard chicken. So, it so take some time to cook. And be back okay hi guys so we are ready the chicken is done and um, I added some more water I added some more water in what else I think that's about it so let's take a look I'm about to add chopped uh, parsley just a little bit um, so here it is Let me get a spoon here. Oh, it smells so good. See some of the chicken oil on top. Okay. And you can have pepper soup as is, or you can add yams to it or potatoes. Or you can have boiled potatoes or yams on the side and then as you dish your pepper soup out you put the boiled potato on the inside um, I might add I might um I may have um, boiled coconut I said coconut really <laughs> okay guys I think what time is it is it midnight is it midnight yet okay it's only 6 30 in the evening <laughs> Have I had one too many? I don't think so. But anyway, uh, so I may add boiled cocoa yam. I think that's what I wanted to say, and I ended up blurting out co uh, coconut. So I I will actually end up boiling cocoa yam, which is taro um, roots, cocoa yam on the side, and then adding it. Um, at the end, maybe in a plate or a dish, maybe that will be for tomorrow or the day after. Um, but for now, we're just going to taste the pepper soup. See, it's now, oh, the smell is out of this planet. It's out of this world. It smells so good. The chicken, you can see, is nice and cooked and 
tender it's not fatty this hard chicken isn't fatty so you have mostly skin and the meat and then the bone um, of course a little bit of fat has gone into the oil Maybe that's what we're seeing here and it tastes so good guys so I added I threw in one pepper because I tasted it um, so I added one pepper which I'll take out at the end to give it some more spice so the pepper soup is almost done now it's time to add a little bit of parsley and then just leave it for a couple of seconds see that's the parsley Ooh, guys look at that and we're good to go doesn't need to cook any longer just a few seconds so I'm going to dish it out and um, show you guys okay okay this is what it finally looks like nice and spicy Ooh, it tastes you have the pieces of chicken Again, um, you can add yams, potatoes, um, just to have, if you want it to be heavier. Um, but this is okay. Pepper soup is supposed to be light. Just a light dish. Um, especially during the cold weather. Oh, I can smell the herbs. It smells so, so good. All those spices we put in. Um, so let's have a taste. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It is so good. See that, guys? It is so good. And then, of course, we can try the chicken. Um, cut off a piece of chicken it's now cooked well so oh, there we go let's try this with some liquid mm, guys oh my goodness it's very delicious very delicious isn't that beautiful Very, very delicious. Hmm. Let's take a look at that. Tastes so good. Oh my gosh. Very good. So guys, it's a simple recipe. I'm um, very good as a starter. Or just something like to end your day with in the evenings um, with a nice glass of juice, malt, cold water, what have you. But this is delicious, guys. Okay, um, I'll have to log off here and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you in my next one. And again, don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Um, if you have any questions, you can shoot me an email or put in the comment box below and I'll be sure to respond okay guys have a good one bye